a hoover board from the scrap heap. So my idea was to find usable components inside here. And the whole thing, how that whole thing works is interesting. Uh, when there is some pressure on the contacts on the right side here or on the left side here, I think the motors will move in another way so that you can steer that hoverboard into a certain position. Here the electronics all inside. Well, I don't think I can solve much of these components. Perhaps the electrolytic capacitors. Furthermore, we are looking into a circuit with many uh, SMD components, surface mounted device components. So they, in my opinion, cannot be solved, saved. And I think the motor is inside a wheel. I'm going to study that. And uh, of course, when that's the case, I can use this wheel as a kind of electromotor. So uh, this is that whole board. And um, here is here are two parts of that board. And we have here an optocoupler in that board. So I think I will salvage that for other purposes. One optocoupler and here also one optocoupler. Of course, optocouplers are always very interesting to use. You can uh, divide in one circuit from another circuit uh, and also make that in a very safe way. So that for instance here at, the, at one electrode there is 230 volts and the op optocoupler couples that to a power circuit. And that power circuit is electrical, completely decoupled uh, from the other side. Anyway, more info surely on the World Wide Web about optocouplers. I have a few of them and they are here. I also saved, for instance, these optocouplers out of a uh, computer power supply. Anyway, they are, they are often used there. So, that are interesting components to uh, take out of such a scrap uh, electronic device. I'm going to take it further more apart and perhaps when the motors are here inside perhaps I can use them in another application. The battery is now uh, away. Here are the battery contacts. I think it was 12 volt. I don't know that exactly anyway. But of course I can test the motors and perhaps use them in another uh, electronic circuit.